Hello, everybody. Welcome to Games for Gamers, G for G. I'm your host, Dave Palmdonna. We're here today for the wrap-up of PvP Season 23, also known as the Spider-Girl Season, or Aniana Corazon, Chipotle, Burrito, Frijitos. So, that season is ending today. Before we get into the video, for my TTC fans, my Tim's Tech Corner, haven't done a video for you guys recently. I just wanted to say that I'm moving up from my Samsung Galaxy S3 to a Samsung Galaxy S4 on Verizon. One of the shitty bootloader locked ones that requires like flash fire and safe strap support. So pretty soon I'll be moving my SD card and SIM card over to this device. Slightly keeping up with the times. Uh, obviously two versions behind, but... While my phone is behind, I have a lovely Shield TV sitting downstairs and several other decent tablets. Uh, before I get into the wrap-up video, I just wanted to share a few things before I get in. Um, for those who happen to know me personally, which here on YouTube is maybe very few, but for some of my friends who watch these videos, uh, one aspect to myself that you may not know is I unfortunately suffer from what's called cluster headaches. Uh, this started in 2008 for me. Uh, it just cropped up one late October. And ever since 2008, 2008, 2009, I actually had a few bouts of it. But ever since late 2009, it settled into I get them about once a year. They last about 30 days and anywhere from 22 to 27 of those 30 days I suffer from a crippling cluster headache that tends to wake me up in the middle of my sleep about two three hours into being asleep and it's always here in the left temple for those who do not know what cluster headaches feel like I'll give you a little bit of medical background on it migraines primarily affect women Cluster headaches primarily affect men. The women who have had cluster headaches in their lifetimes have said that they would rather give birth than deal with another cluster headache. And unfortunately, I think my cluster headache season started this morning at about 3 o'clock in the morning. So that was actually kind of interesting. The reason why I mentioned it is it woke me up and actually brought me back over to the PC while I was awake for a little while dealing with the headache. It allowed me to PvP some more and fend off some losses on defense. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into uh, what my rank is and the rewards and everything in, in just a few moments here. So, um, yeah, cluster headaches, I wouldn't wish them upon my worst enemy. They can sometimes get to be stone painful. I am literally crawling on the floor or crying, well not crying, but just about to the point of crying in the fetal position. Begging anybody to take the pain away. And that's, um, yeah, so little, little known fact, it actually is kind of a, a common medical thing that women deal with pain more once it begins. Um, they can tolerate higher thresholds of it. But men tend to be quieter about their pain until it gets deeper and, and then they get a little bit more upset about it. So, yeah, unfortunately, I, I think I will be, at least maybe until the middle of September, plagued by these cluster headaches at night for some time. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. As you can see, some of the things have dropped off the store. That is the current generation and previous generation of PvP items. They are now gone, so that's two rounds of the spider items like the hat and the newspaper and the tracer along with the more modern discs and everything like that. And now we are just left to the ISOs. We, of course, don't even have the Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch ISOs here, but then again, that might be because I have them. Speaking of Quicksilver ISOs, um, man... The last two days of the season or so, actually before I get into that, I want to back up a few steps. Play Dom, do not give us another fucking goddamn PvP season next week or two weeks from now. Chill out. Enough with the spiders for a little while. Enough with the PvP. You, you slammed a bunch of pre-seasons on us when you were beta testing. 
and then you roll right into season season. Just stop. Let us chill out a little while. Let us absorb the new meta. Let us get used to these new things that we're facing here. And just chill the fuck out with the PvP. Just let it go for a little while. These last two seasons out of the last three have been really, really stressful with some of the metas that have been going on. And I know some friends of the channel, like uh, JW and JC, we've all expressed hitting these really rough patches where it's been an absolute nightmare. You get the rough patch at the beginning where you scramble with two, one, and zero point victories in gold. Because you're fighting people down at 394 when you're at 900. And then at the end, yeah. So how this season ended for me is two seasons ago, I felt the last day was fairly quiet. Today, I felt like yesterday at around this time started a busy period for about 12 hours. So maybe about, you know, 7, 8 at night to about 4, 3, 5 in the morning was really busy. And it slowly tapered off around 9, 10 o'clock this morning. And I would say by noon, things got really calm for me. My defense leading up to the last day had really been holding their own up until about 24 hours ago when I pretty much started losing a lot of things. My offense was plagued by some of the most hardest offensive days that I've had this season. Mostly what I ran into was a lot of quick groups. And if it wasn't a quick group, it was a group with the goddamn interrupting fucking ISOs. It was that interrupting range ISO. It was that interrupting melee ISO. Nobody was really that smart to go with one of the old um, class squared suits from the gold sales where you can uh, put in two of those ISOs. Honestly, I would hate to see the dude that ran a Roscoe, a Raft Shank, one of the squared suits and put in the Quicksilver and the Hawkeye ISO. Like, literally, you would not be able to move. I don't know how many tantrums Molly started and was interrupted by Quicksilver or one of those ISOs, and just like She Hulk or the Nope Hand from Heemdall, the tantrum is over when that happens. It's not that that move is over and she gets to go again. No, the whole fucking tantrum is over and it comes out of nowhere and it's not always that visible sometimes like when you're met it it just became one of those things that i had to start to look at two or three seasons ago it was the hoogan's eye you had to look for and it was the tebow glove you had to look for um then i had the scroll so i didn't really have to look for the watchful eye because i was going to use the scroll anyway but uh, before we get into my rank and the rewards, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Jimmy Cooper. He had his first A to finish this season. Really proud of him. He's a relatively recent Spartan from the last few months, and I think he accelerated to his first A to victory, probably closer than I did when I turned 300. Uh, you know, I had the Angel give me, I had the Rocket Raccoon bump up where I was Vibra and got rocket because they gave people the free bump up i want to say karnak was i think the first season where i like legitimately earned my first ada so let's give a big round of applause to jc and any of the other uh first time ada people that might be watching this video so let's check out the rewards i should be about 1800 that's where i last checked so we have the 100k silver for silver. We have the 10 gold for gold. We have this interesting item, the Carapist. I guess it is the Carapist related to uh, Spider Girl's one-time Carapist that she was wearing in the comics that supposedly she doesn't wear anymore. Um, it, if you look at this, it looks very insectoid over here just sort of where the these parts of the knuckles are uh, if you look at it and i'll probably ruin this icon for you if you stare at it doesn't that kind of look like four eyes and like a crawdad shrimpy cthulhu -y beast like mandibles and tentacles coming down below it like the top part like this is the carapace this is the head and then it's like four beady eyes and like spider pincers or something 
Yeah, I, I hope I ruined this glove for you. So we have the very, very wanted and potentially powerful Elite Empowered ISO 8. For bruisers, not just the agent, for any bruisers, immune to cornered. Cornered means, sorry, you can't protect. That, honestly, would probably be the best thing for Red Hulk. Because the last thing that you want is to corner Red Hulk so he's not draining you with that crazy drain bug. Where, like, he heals himself and stamines himself once, but, like, your person, your victim, has, like, this many drains on the screen. is like, almost dead. Um, but this will be good for the protector kind of agents. Honestly, the only person who I don't want protecting when I fight them in PvP is Red Hulk. Um, I'm not that crazy about T-Bolt wearing agents. However, let's be honest, a T-Bolt agent is not bugged. A T-Bolt agent drains you once, he heals once, he drains you once, end of story. Red Hulk is bugged, and that bug has been out there for God knows how long. So, immune to cornered, okay, kind of nice, but okay. Drains health and stamina from attackers when attacked by non-psychic melee. Not unarmed melee. All melee that is non-psychic will cause the drain. So, maybe the quick metas are going to have a little bit of an issue. Quicksilver is going to get drained if you're wearing this ISO. Very interesting. You are also immune to neutralized, which means the bruiser class bonus is going to be sealed in. You gain astution when attacked, increasing your attack and defense. Angel has a similar named ability, but the increasing attack and defense, who knows what the max stacks are, but that could essentially be a emerald prism type thing on your bruiser, be it yourself or another bruiser. So some people have said, hey, Nap, you did that video a while ago where you had Phoenix forcing Age of uh, Avengers Ultron Hulk to tank so that he builds up his stacks and he's constantly getting those stacks built up. Would this work? Yes. This would work on somebody like that. This would work on any, any bruiser. However, it is best on bruisers that either tank full-time, your Groot, your uh, Captain Americas who start off with Shield Guard, your Colossuses who start off with it, uh, your Wonder Mans. Wonder Man would be fantastic with this. You give him the ISO that says he tanks AoE along with single target, and you give him this, and he has his own Rising Up ability on level... Well, not the Rising Up, that heal ability on level 9. Phenomenal. If you take away the AoE one and you give him big and fast and this, he, uh, he will be nearly invulnerable. He's immune to dots. He'll constantly be healing himself. He'll constantly be getting extra turns. He'll constantly be draining the fuck out of you if you attack him. If you ran something like the satellite support, which said nothing is stealthy, then you could really ensure that he tanks all the single target. So this could be a very, very powerful ISO in the right hands and with the right combination. And, of course, the ultimate award, Spider-Girl with the black suit, keen senses. And here she is, Spider-Girl recruited. She has a very, very odd body shape. So let's see what she says. Oh, hey there, Agent. Sorry, I was just thinking about my world, my friends, my family. You know, my father once told me there is no way to get a good story to do a good job without embedding yourself in the dirt. It's definitely a mess out there, so for better or worse, I am your girl. So there is my final ranking, 1793. I uh, bottomed out on the defenses around midday, just wasn't really taking anything, and uh, didn't have to do much combating. At the end, no losses to really combat. What's funny, look at this. Ply Plimdom Cheats is one of the last people I faced on defense over here. And he lost. Isn't this kind of funny to see a name? Like, the irony of this is palpable. That I fought somebody with cheats in his name, crushed him for an 18-point victory on defense... 
that kept me really close to about 1800 so my highest in this season was like 1810 I originally set my limit at 1750 then I bumped it up to 1775 so and then eventually 1780s where I said I will combat anything that takes me to that or lower so let's see what I was attacked with here uh, he finished at 1903 uh, he attacked me with the Golden Heavy Ion Beam, Hugens T-Bolt Glove, Synthetic Cube, and failed. So, potentially an Enchantress group over here, or maybe some kind of an Attrition Exploiter. Uh, and his defense is very similar, except he switched in the Tactical Suit for the Blaster Suit, so, um... Potentially, I don't recognize that ISO over there. Not too sure which one that is. That might be Skull Thumper. I think that might be the surprising one. So yeah, this guy failed. If we look at his armory, it's not particularly a whale. His armory is not really that douchey, but it's just funny with somebody like the name Plimdom Cheats. And he loses. And my last victory of the day was a 13 point victory over agent rita addict and i fought a cube weather control device who can size signpost this one i do believe was a pesty enchantress team that i rolled over and again relatively standard armory all right so let us take a look at the rewards over here and uh let's try to see them in action see what happens so here's my Hyperion he's training up to level 9 he has three hours left Haith did not make the cutoff of the season Molly did she spent the last few days at 15 so there's Iron Fist he's going up to 15 now so he will gain that enrage or actually he'll gain the scrapper bonus for me as a uh, as a free action here's my spider Gwen uh, at level 6, so she just got her Wrecking Ball move, which is really funny. It does come in like a spider-webbed Wrecking Ball. Here's my Spider Noir, ready to go to 14 when I have a free slot. And here is Spider Girl, a just a very weird build on her. She's just, I don't know, it's just an odd build. Black Suit, she exploits webs. Dealing extra damage against web targets. Keen Senses grants heightened awareness when attacked, increasing defense and evasion. So it would be very interesting to see if that ISO stacks with her. She has really piss poor health for a bruiser. Phenomenal stamina. Pretty good attack. Poor defense and very high accuracy, very high evasion. She's honestly built like an infiltrator. She's built almost somewhere halfway in between like a scrapper and an infiltrator. This is just a very weird uh, kit for her. If we like compare her to Quake, here's like Quake, low health, low stamina, very high attack, very high accuracy. Quake is almost built more like a scrapper than a tactician. Spider-Man Noir, uh, very high attack, accuracy, and evasion. So he's built like you would expect a spider to be. I just... I don't really like her sprite. It's just so square up here. It's got like a guile do -do 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 thing going on over there. Oh, wow, the background music. I forgot to hit play on the background music. I'm so totally sorry, guys. I had the Diablo 3 OST queued up. So here was my offense for the majority of the season. The cube, the cube got swapped out and the mandible went in. Came in very handy with the rise of blasters at the end of the season with the blaster quicksilvers. I did find that blaster quicksilver, or excuse me, owl quicksilver was nowhere near as annoying damage wise as bisquick. But I do find that his presence to uh, stop melee attacks was very annoying. I did not like the blaster one quite as much as I liked the other one, but the blaster one did give me extra turns. However, because sometimes the damage was so heavy, it made me very fearful to do the weather control device when he had quickness, so I had to play very cautiously at times, but the mandible gave me at least a chance at the tactical bonus on 
blasters. So the cube went out and the mandible went in. I stuck with it even after the nerf. Weather control device, the prism, and the scroll stayed the whole way. Bruiser Molly Hay stayed the whole way. Bruiser Hafe was taken out for Scrapper Hafe to double punch Enchantress. On defense, the entire season, Mystic, the scroll, the weather control device, and the Hoogan's Eye. On the agent was Big and Fast, which may actually now get removed. So let us go ahead and jump into the mission I am currently farming. Let's equip that glove. Let's equip that ISO. And let's see what we can come up with over here. And let's get uh, Spider Chicky involved. So Spider Gwen is already with me. Captain Marvel, man, what an unsung hero she is. I just recently started using her again in a few things. God, she hits like a fucking truck. I've totally forgotten just how powerful she is. She's actually very, very good. She still hits like an absolute beast. So we have the two Bruiser Spiders. We will go ahead and get... Let's change this up a little bit over here. We will bring, bring in the Bruiser. I will keep the Blade of the Guardian. I will take out the Flaming Post and bring in the new Gauntlet, which is right here. So it has a somewhat similar look to uh, the Chakra Strike. As you can see, this model is pretty much identical, minus a little bit of a tiny lip over there. And we will go ahead and take out Big and Fast, and we will put in the new ISO. And uh, let's let's see what this stuff gives us over here. Nope, not hardened. So Molly, as you can see, she was running a hardened. She that candy ISO. Um, about a week, a week and a half before PVP was due to expire, her candy ISO was so fucking clutch for me. It phased me with the ghost candy so many times just when I needed it to. It almost saved a really bad match for me. But unfortunately, it, it didn't last long enough uh, for her to win the fight. But it really, it, she was like the only one left. And it kept her in it. So there's the golden 49er. By the way, really, really strong weapon. If you let that grit stack for a little bit. Very much a one-shot weapon. Alright, so there goes the Blade of the Guardian counter. And we will use the Neurotropish. We will go ahead and... Guess I took a cower there. Alright, so there's the drain. We, we just saw it. Uh, let me turn on slow combat over here so we can really see it in action. Uh, nope, don't want the sound. Alright, so here... It, well, yeah, that's right. Her multi-action. Web crazy. One enemy is webbed and I exploit webbing and she gets wind up. Or one enemy is webbed... I exploit webbing, and I get webbed up. Most attacks are intercepted by Spider-Girl. So this one is similar to Medusa. I don't want to do that. I want my agent to take stuff. So I'm going to go offensive -y and hit the Scrapper. So some pretty nice crits there. She gets wind up. She gets enraged. This is a quick action, which is really cool. So Spider Sense Defense procs. She dodges some of the pre counter. Came in like a wrecking ball. And let's re let's get some webs on this behemoth. So she follows up with a nice web line stage dive. Here goes the the uh, protect from the suit. There's the guard, take some pain. There's the drain, there's the heal. There's the recharge because I was stunned. Alright, so. 
breakthrough. Oh, it gives me breakthrough and wind up. That's really nice. There's my grit. So as we can see, this is what my stacks have gone up to. I'm now plus 1157 attack plus 1258 defense. That's that's a pretty good bonus there. That's like an emerald prism. So let's go ahead, carafist that marauder. We don't kill him, but now I have breakthrough and wind up. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with that gun when I get the... F wow! Holy shit, Spider-Girl really just crushed that dude. That was a lot of damage. Holy shit. Her exploit webbing is strong. So that's not melee, but there's Eshustashin. Eshustashin. So let's see what the gun does. Now, I'm blinded, so I might miss, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, screw you. My god, Spider Girl just hit like a truck. Imagine her with ISOs. That's melee, so that's gonna drain. Yep, there's the absorb and there's the heal. So my agent is at full health over here. So we're going to doubly web the uh, Chiomi down at the bottom. She follows... Nice! She followed up with another webline stage dive. There's grit. There's the Sustachin. I gain pressure points. The mist because I'm bleeding. I hate these stupid mobs because of that. Alright, so let's see if we can golden 49er one of these people out. Of course, my grit is lower. Alright, my grit's a 2. Let's see what happens. Yeah, pretty big hit. And let's see what kind of damage this does. Damn, she's good. She might be a lot of fun with Spider-Man Noir. Alright guys, so that's the video. We're near on the 30 minute mark, so this video is pretty long. Uh, wow, so these guys get some pretty... These guys get some nice PvE bonuses over here. Distaff counterpart is of course the opposite sex counterpart. To the main, honestly, they're both being considered opposite Spider-Man. I get Swinger Street level, not of this earth, Arachnophobia, and Web Warriors. So there we can see the Golden 49er in action with the Grit. We've seen the Gauntlet in action. We have seen um, what the ISO can do. I think um, I, we can't, it's going to be really tough. You can't really run the Emerald Prism with this. Unfortunately, because the Emerald Prism would consume your turn. So, uh, you would never really be able to attack. You could do a quick action like the Neurotrope, the Weather Control Device, but then if you went and used the Prism, your turn would end. The only time Prisms are really good is when you're running tactical suits with snappy service. Um, so, it's going to be it's really, really tough to pull that combo off with the Bruiser Suit. So... Hope you guys did really well in the season. Again, congrats to JC's first A to finish. Anybody else who's watching, if you guys have your first A to finish ever this season, let me know down in the comments. Congratulations to where everybody ranked. I hope you got the rank you guys deserved. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you're thinking of doing with the ISO and, and who you're thinking of uh, slapping it on. As we can see from that gauntlet, you know, all right, let's extend this just a little bit and let's see if we can get one fight with potentially an even more ridiculous combination. Let's take out Golden 49er and let's do something really, really cheesy. I think you guys maybe know where I'm going. I'm looking for another gauntlet. Where are you, buddy? You're right. There it is. Let's see what the drain of the T-Bolt glove is and the drain of... Yeah. Let's see what this turns into. 
Honestly, if this is what I think it is, and you run the Staff of Asclepios... Well, you can't really run the Staff of Asclepios that well with the Bruiser Suit, because it won't be a quick action. Alright, so... Carapace. Let's do the T-Bulk Glove and start that drain going. We don't want Spider-Girl to tank, however... She has proven that if you give her the ISO, she might be able to really do some phenomenal damage. Alright, so the Behemoth protects. He's now webbed. Here we go, folks. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to protect. It's a melee attack. Absorb energy from the T-Bolt glove. That kicked in. Blade of the Guardian. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, let's see what we get over here. I haven't seen two drains yet. Absorb energy, association, pain, raged. There's one absorb energy. There's the blade of the guardian counter. I, I, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just one-shotting everybody over here. I didn't, I want to protect a little bit more and see if uh, I get double the drain. Maybe the behemoth will do it. Nope, that's ranged. That's not going to do it. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Let's pass. Let's web. But I think he's not going to melee now because of the second application of webbed. Chance, yeah, reduces evasion. Do, do, do. Second apply, tangle web. On it, yeah, alright, so we're not going to be able to do it. Sorry guys, I can't really confirm quite yet if we're going to get the double drain, but it is entirely possible that we might be able to do it. I wonder if I might be able to keep that guy locked. Yeah. I, oh, wow, she's good. I'm actually impressed with Spider-Girl. I hate the sprite. I like Spider-Gwen's sprite way more. I like her animations a lot, too. They're just fun. Spider-Girl, I may hate the sprite, but I might actually like her abilities. Um, alright. Let's T-Bulk Glove one of these chicks. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Let's see what happens. Come on, get meleeed. No, nope, that's ranged. Come on, melee me. I want to see a melee. That's nah, ranged. And there's the blade. The guarding counter, which misses. Because of the blinded. Come on, I want to take a melee shot. I want to see if I get the double drain. They put, come on, somebody melee me. There we go, this will be a melee. Bruiser safeguard, absorb energy, bleeding. Alright, let's go, let's go. Subdue and a drain. Yep, there it is. There's the double absorb. So imagine if somebody gave you blessing. Imagine if you ran Vanilla Angel with this group and you had blessing on you you might become near invincible with something like that i mean obviously range will be an issue but this may really affect the melee heavy meta that we're seeing and i'm i'm impressed with the rewards i'm impressed with spider girl i i really didn't think I would enjoy watching her in combat this much, but she seems to be hitting like a uh, relatively good character over here. Alright, we'll move it back to quick. Let's just get this video finished out. Ooh! Oh! Ho -ho 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 -ho. Wow, that was a nice hit for the Carapist. And she is just... She's got some bright damage there all right so there she is she's ready to train but unfortunately she's not going to be able to train for three hours so again sorry the video ran long but of course there was a lot we needed to look at over here so take care everybody
have a good one, and until the next PvP season, let us all take our tums and let our stomachs rest. Take care, everybody.